It might not look like it, but the Aegis AJ159 Apex wireless gaming mouse is one of the best mouse that you could buy in the market right now. Especially if you're thinking of replacing your old one, maybe it's a little bit worn out, you might want to check this out. And you'll be surprised on the specification of this bad boy. This mouse is actually equipped with a PixArt sensor. It has a charging dock, which I really appreciate. And it also functions as a dongle, so you just need to plug the charging dock via USB Type-C cable, which is also included and you're good to go. And this is one of the shocking things that this mouse has. It has up to 8,000 polling rate if you're using the dock and 1,000 if you're using the USB Type-C cable. Performance-wise, as I mentioned, it's quite good. It will function as any PixArt sensor mouse, but the edge of this mice is good polling rate and it has a debounce click setting that you can use. Quite right, crazy because the last time that I was able to test the mouse, it goes only up to 4,000. Not only that, you notice there's a screen on the charging dock. Well, <laughs> yes, you can customize it with pictures, PNG, and I even did put Mega Man there and Maloy from Bean because I have a crush on it. This is one thing that I really appreciate and just blow my mind. It has a micro switch. It's one green shell white dot. In my experience, if your mouse has that dot, the tendency of the mouse to double click is far less often than those that doesn't have the dot. That's absurd. And it is rated for 100 million clicks, but we all know it might not happen. But having those switches might really save you a big buck in the long run, especially if you don't want to replace your mouse very often. Now, this mouse actually came with different colors. The one that I have is the blue one, just a little bit change of pace because Oh, my hair because I've been always using black and black now of course let's talk about the software of this bad boy because that's where you can upload the image as I mentioned earlier and you know do some customization now you can download it via their official website but don't get confused because because there will be two types of driver that you will see there's one on the left and there's one on the right just make sure to find the mouse that you're currently using which is for me the aj159 once you've installed it this is where it becomes a little bit tricky on my end it might not happen to you but pay attention to the logo at the very bottom of the software it usually will indicate that it's usb and 2.4 gigahertz now if you only see one of those two it means that it bags out here's what you're going to do make sure you plug your mouse dock on usb type-c cable to your pc and plug your mouse via usb type-c also that is connected to your pc now once both of those are connected functionality of the mouse will become available to you. And yes, it has macros, DPI settings, and this is where you can change also the bounce rate and the falling rate if you wish to do so. Now, if by some miracle it just works fine with you, then you don't need to do that kind of um, steps that I mentioned earlier. I'm just gonna say that this mouse is a very good mouse, but it doesn't work well with a leather type of gaming mouse. So if you have the cloth base, you're gonna be fine, but if you have the leather one or even the felt one, you might want to customize your DPI and your falling rate and your debounce rate depending on the surface that you're gonna be using it. And with that being said, I'm shocked. I will be recommending this definitely in case you want to have a mouse that has all of those functionality and customization. Now if you want to buy the mouse, I'll put the link down in the description. Use my affiliate link so I get a little bit of something in case you want to purchase. That's it.